Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I posted pictures of my War Chanter model on Reddit the other day to get people's thoughts on it. The response I got back was incredible, with so many people having so many nice things to say. Thank you to everyone that commented on those posts and subsequently subscribed here as a result. Uh, in those comments, a lot of people were talking about the skin and how I did it, um, which was fantastic to hear people's thoughts and feedback. Um, if you are interested in how I painted it, I have a video on my channel already uh, documenting my process. Uh, you can find a link to this video in the description down below. The next topic that people were talking about a lot and asking a lot about was how I painted the yellow armour. So I thought that I would address this by making a video taking you step by step through my process. Now as my war chanter is already complete, I'm going to try and re recreate this effect on this Iron Jaws Ard Boy. The first step we're going to take is to lay down a base coat of Baylor Brown. We're going to do this all over the armour panels that we want to be yellow. I've chosen to use this colour as it covers better than the yellows that I have personally tested while still giving us a colour that is essentially a dark yellow. I believe that these characteristics make it the perfect starting point for this process. Yellow has a reputation as being one of the more difficult colours to paint, so to make things easier for ourselves, make sure to prime in a lighter tone. A white or a light grey would work perfectly for this. After the base coat of Baylor Brown is finished, we're going to base coat all the armour panels again using Uriel Yellow. Applying the base coats in this way allows us to have the bright yellow that we want, but in two easy coats, meaning that we're able to keep the coats of paint really smooth, providing us a fantastic base to work from. During this step, make sure to thin your paints. Um, applying paints too thickly will lead to unwanted texture and visible brush strokes, which is something we always want to avoid whilst painting our miniatures, but something that we especially want to avoid as we paint with yellow. Um, this is just because it's going to be super noticeable with such a bright colour. the base coat's now down, we're going to move on to creating some depth to the armour using shading. For this we're going to use a 50-50 mix of Citadel's Uriel Yellow and Troll's Layer Orange. We're going to apply this to areas that would be cast in shadow from our chosen light source. In this case, areas such as the underside of the arms, the bottom of the helm, and the lower portion of the backplate would all have varying forms and um, intensities of shadows cast upon them. At first this effect is going to look very overpowering and, and won't really work yet, however what we're going to do is glaze in some Uriel Yellow, focusing completely over these shadowed areas. Uh, this will benefit us in multiple ways, uh, the lines between the colours will be blurred giving us a far smoother transition from our mid-tones to our shadows, and also it will create a much less harsh shadow, um, meaning that it won't be so overpoweringly orange. Uh, alternatively, you could adjust the mix to contain less orange, uh, maybe 25 to 75%. Um, 
orange to yellow that is, sorry, um, which would give you a far more yellow shadow tone. However, I do believe that taking this approach through glazing it, um, just in what it can do in smoothing the transitions alone, is my personal preferred way of doing it. With all of the shadows completed, smoothed out, and, uh, and achieving the desired amount of contrast, we're going to move on to the next step. This is to start creating even more contrast by brightening areas of the armour. Uh, for this step, we're going to target areas that are directly opposite to the areas cast in shadow and start to brighten them up using Citadel's Flash Kits Yellow. Uh, this will give us a really bright, striking yellow that will stand out on the tabletop from a mile away. Make sure to keep your paint thin during this step. Uh, it's far better for us to slowly build up the layers and brightness of the colour at this stage. Uh, keeping our paint thin will allow us to create smooth transitions from our mid-tone to our brightest highlights um, by using a mixture of thin layers and sort of glazes as well. We can, we can achieve a really smooth, crisp finish. Next we're going to start adding in some additional visual interest to the miniature. Uh, we're going to do this by adding in some battle damage. Um, the colour we're going to use for this is Vallejo Game Colour Black. Uh, make sure to add scrapes and scratches and try and be uh, as irregular as possible and try and make a bit of character here, you know, hitting the edges of the knuckles where the orc may have punched someone or basically try and make it thematic to what you think could have happened to that particular orc. And another key point is less can be more here. Don't overdo it and oversaturate the armor with too many too much black sort of battle damage. Battle damage now put onto the miniature. Uh, the final step is the final step to complete the yellow armor is highlighting. Um, for this, we're going to use Vallejo game color white. Um, using this color, we're going to go over all of the main armor panel edges, um, specifically targeting those, and also make sure to create a false edge on anywhere that we've done any battle damage for. Um, this will give it an additional layer of depth to make it look like the the darker color is further in than the sort of rendered yellow armor
highlighting finished, our yellow armor is complete. Uh, I personally think that this gives us really nice looking, super effective um, yellow armor and is nice and easy to achieve. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out massively and lets me know that you all want to see more of this content. And if you really do want to see more of this content and have an idea for what you'd like to see next, please hit me up down in the comments section down below. Um, and please share that idea and I'll be more than happy to try and cover it if I am able to do so. Thank you all again for watching and stay safe.